another weekly vlog on hey it's the martin family's youtube channel so i just got back from the farmer's market i was craving some oxtails so i'm gonna go ahead and get them washed and seasoned and get them cooking for dinner so let me turn the camera around so you can see what we were all right we got our oxtails now i'm just gonna wash them off get them nice and clean and then i'm gonna season them up and then I'll sear them kind of like on both sides and then just let them boil. You know, y'all know those who cook ox, tell me below if you cook ox steels. You definitely know they take a long time to make. Unless you have like a pressure cookie, cook, pressure cookie, a pressure like cooker, things like that. But y'all, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be seasoning my oxtails with the uh, salt free dash seasoning, onion powder, seasoned salt garlic powder and then browning and so i'm just gonna coat it with these seasonings and then like i said sear it on both sides um and then i'll add in my i'm gonna chop probably like one sleeve is that what you call it a sleeve a bunch of the green onion once i add in the water all right so i went ahead and seasoned up the oxtails the only thing i didn't add was the browning so I think I'm gonna do that after I seal. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that after I seal. But you know, like I said, when I'm cooking, it just depends on how I'm feeling. And then I did go ahead and chop up my green onions as well. So now I'm just waiting for, I had to pull out the big pot, y'all, the big boy. And um, I'm just waiting for this to get hot. So like I said, I can sear them on both sides. So now we wait. Mm. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour in some olive oil. Might as well finish the last little bit. And then come over here. Probably going to try to get some of the bigger ones first. And like I said, just let it sear. So I added in as much as I could. Now just to let them get kind of crispy golden on both sides. Just kind of like I said, sear it on both sides. And then once those are finished, I'll add them in here and then add those and let those sear. And then we'll add in our browning and then our green onions and thyme and all that good stuff. But let's let this ride out for just a little bit. Smells so good, y'all. I love me some oxtail. Alright, so I went ahead and flipped them. And then I had them cooking on the other side. Let me see what they look like. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is probably flip it on one other side. So I'm going to get all the sides nice and golden. And then I'll take them out, and we'll go from there. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and take them out and get the next batch in. All right, got the next batch in here, searing out. And then once I get those on both sides, then I'll drain out some of that oil and add in my green onion and then the browning and then I'll add in the uh, oxtails and put some more browning and just kind of like mix it up. Put some water in here and just let it boil out. All right, I went ahead and flipped these. Now let them ride up. So it actually isn't too much grease left anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, add in my other half of the oxtails that we seared first and then the green onion. Get 
that. Oh, go ahead and get all this added. I'm going to add in some of uh, the brownie. All right, let's get it added. Now let's mix it up. And then we're going to add in some water to cover it up and let it just boil so it's nice and tender. And then, once it's just about done, I'm gonna add in some butter beans. Um, or you can use the ones that aren't already in the can, but because they're in the can, they're already done. So I'm gonna add some butter beans inside also. And I just kind of filled this pan up that I had the oxtails and the seasoning in with just a little water. And I kind of want to cover it just a little bit above. So let's go ahead and add more water. All right, so this is where I have my water at. Now I'm just turned it on high or like kind of like medium high. So let it boil out. I'll probably end up adding just a little more water. But I think what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and put the top on, put it on high. That way some the water still stays in there and then halfway through i probably take the top off and just let it kind of like boils down but because i added water i am going to go ahead and add the same seasonings that i used to season the um oxtails with because the water of course will take away some of the flavor especially with it boiling so i'm going to go ahead and add some of the same seasonings now if you want to you can add of course onions and like minced garlic but i think i'm just going to keep it simple today and just add these all right, so I just added the seasonings in, just mixing it all up. All right, y'all. Now just to let it boil, I'm gonna go ahead and add the top one. Can't forget my time, y'all. I'm gonna add some time, and I really like how time, the time, um, like smell and how it flavors the meat so I'm just gonna add in but add in as much as you want but yeah let me get that in there we go all right y'all it hasn't quite been 30 minutes yet but I just want to go ahead and give it a peek Well, you can't really see it, but it's boiling nice. Let's give it a quick little stir. And let it finish what it's doing. All right, so this is what it looks 30 minutes in. As you can see, the meat is still like tough. So it's gonna take longer for it to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top back on, give it 30 more minutes. So I kind of lost track of time. I know it hasn't, either it's been 30 minutes or a little less than 30 minutes, y'all. And they're, um, they're starting to, to get there. Still a little tough though. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top back on and let it still do its thing. And then I think I'm just gonna turn it down just a little bit. So as you can see, most of the water has evaporated. Oxtails are just about done, actually. So now I'm just going to turn it on like real low. So probably like at like a two and just let it finish out. But yeah, it's just about done. I can just tell from when I'm like pinching the meat. And I forgot, y'all, I normally do add like a scotch bonnet pepper 
or like a habanero pepper. I think it's like the same thing, but um, yeah, I normally do add that too sometimes because I, I do like the spice. But yeah, y'all, starting to look like oxtails. Yeah, I'm just kind of moving it around because I don't want them to like stick to the bottom since the the juice is getting um, thicker. So some of the oxtails is just kind of sitting in the same spot and just kind of moving it all over. Okay, y'all, let's let it finish cooking out. Looks good. So I have my two cans of butter beans. I'm gonna go ahead and add it in. Um, I'm gonna just add the whole thing. Oh, things are big. You know what, let me pour some of the water out. I was thinking I wasn't gonna need to. Okay, that's most of it. Okay, now let's just mix it up. So y'all forgot to show y'all the finished product of the oxtails I made. But when I say these are the best oxtails, y'all. So after they got done um, cooking, my husband did end up adding like a little bit of cayenne pepper and then a little more seasoned salt, just a little bit more seasoned salt. But y'all, when I say these oxtails are so good and juicy and tender, so comment below if you have any like oxtail recipes or if you plan on using or doing this uh, recipe because these oxtails are off the chain y'all like literally i probably had about five plates yesterday like for real and then i mean this for breakfast y'all that's how good it is but i definitely hope you found this video helpful comment below if you will try this recipe out and how it turned out but thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and we'll see you in next week's weekly vlog bye bye